you know, I'm out here with my fleet master chief, uh, master chief April Beldo, and uh, we, you know, when we get around and talk sailors, talk to sailors on a personal level, small groups, uh, and you really get some great feedback. You can live in Washington D.C. and and watch the news and read the newspapers, uh, but you miss the personal stories and the and and the sense of what's really going on until you get out and talk to sailors, talk to families. Uh, to, to get an appreciation for what they're going through uh, and then have personal conversations about what's on their mind, what's their concerns, and it really gives us a good flavor for what's going on in the fleet. We started o over there, uh, first of all, to uh, do a command operations brief with Admiral Davidson and Sixth Fleet to really get a sense for the operations that our sailors are involved with around the region. Uh, and that was very uh, helpful to me to see all the activity that's gone, going on in this part of the world. Well, in the junior enlisted side, we spent a lot of time talking about the, the new advancement profiles, uh, the changes to the final multiple score that we're making starting this September cycle, uh, explaining to them what went behind those decisions and uh, to try to let them know that, uh, that uh, past not advanced scoring in a, is not being thrown out, it's gonna last for the next five cycles, uh, that we're trying to weight performance more as the more senior you become in the service. When you think about the Navy operating forward and being ready to handle just about any mission, and you look at all the crises that have occurred in this region of the world in the last year to two years, uh, with unrest of throughout the Middle East and Egypt and Syria, uh, some of the conflicts that are, exist today in the Eastern Med, of course up in the Black Sea, uh, what, what's occurred with uh, Ukraine and Crimea and Russia, uh, Libya, hard to forget what's happened there in the last couple of years. All of that activity has been going on here uh, and, and the sailors that have been carrying that mission forward have done an extraordinary job. So uh, I, I'm really proud of what they've done and I wanted to be able to thank them personally, but also to get their feedback on what's on their minds as they look to the Navy in the future and what, how they think we can make it better for them and their service. Now the biggest challenge I think is not just for us in the Navy, but for all the services and that's after 13 years of war. Uh, and, and those conflicts continue in many different forms. We're reading about it today. Uh, but the stress on the force for the operational tempo that's been out there for many, many years uh, is, is turning from a uh, recruiting environment to a retention environment. And what I mean by that is I think we're gonna have more difficulty retaining the talent and the, and the quality of sailors that we've had for the benefit of for the last 13 years. Uh, one of the marquee issues uh, the last couple of years has been the whole uh, the whole attack on sexual assault in our Navy, and I think uh, the Navy, among the services, has really done a great job of attacking it at the local command leadership level, at the chief's mess level, uh, and making it a personal uh, objective by every sailor to rid this crime from our Navy. We've got to get there, and uh, I think we've done a, a good job, but we've still got a ways to go. Uh, the training's got to improve. We've got to take what we learned at boot camp and applied those lessons in bystander intervention and taken to the fleet to continue that, that, uh, that continuum of training, uh, ridding the lower end, the left side of the kill chain, as we like to say, uh, of sexual harassment. I think those destructive behaviors, if we get at those, they lead to better behaviors in the fleet. We don't ever get to the right side of sexual assault. Uh, and so it's really learning and continuing to treat sailors, every sailor, with a great deal of respect uh, understanding and appreciation, appreciating the cultural differences, the backgrounds and experiences that sailors bring from all over the country, in fact, all over the world uh, to our Navy and, and learning from each other and that makes us stronger as a Navy.